We have here the Devil's Toy Box, which is basically the inside is all covered with mirrors. So the idea is that some people say it acts like a portal. Others say that, you know, the spirit will get inside there and not be able to get out because the mirrors are all facing each other and it kind of is just trapped in this box. We're gonna test it out. We've never really used one before, so. And we're gonna put it in the closet. Yeah, put it in the closet, the end of this closet. They did say that someone tried to stick their fingers underneath it and it actually got bit by something. Hello? I just heard like a hissing sound. My fingers are on the other side. Can you see them? It's really cold there. <laughs> Nothing though? No, it's really cold there though. But you'll feel it. You'll open the door and I personally have been there when somebody has opened it, just like a joke. And there's just this cold rush of air will like run straight through me. Uh, what we're thinking is putting something from the room inside the box as well as the DR60. Fallen, placing the DR60 down into Devil's Toy Box. I shut it. Mm -hmm. Shut the box and we'll put the lid on. Do you guys think we should? I say close the door, right? Yeah. 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 What is in the closet? I just heard for a second. Sounds like you're in Yeah. Sounded like a group of people talking. Is the closet a portal of some kind or some kind of doorway to another to the other side? Hey, you want to get the PR60? Yeah, let's try okay. it. You want to grab it? Finger. Really? Yeah. Touch it. You can get to touch it. While reviewing the DR60 session in Sarah's room, the team heard a resounding crash sound resonate throughout the second floor. We had the entire building to ourselves and could not find the source of the crash. Was something trying to lure us out of Sarah's room with the closet door open? We get out with Crystal. <coughs> right after that, there was that huge noise. We got out of the room. It did what it wanted us to do. The closet's open. That's what it wanted. Yep. It wanted the door left open. So it made a noise somewhere else. We weren't running to investigate. Mm -hmm. And we left the door open. What you thinking? Me? Put it in there again and yeah. try to get it. Yeah. Roll. And he was quarter, and I was supposed to make quarter down. Do 
Do you like having that closet door open? If you want us to open that closet door again, say open door. Did you make the loud crashing sound? Me too. I just heard something in the hallway. What was that? That was down the engine. This is the second time that the team is interrupted with a loud bang coming from the hallway. As they head out to investigate the sound, Keith feels the sensation of being grabbed on his forearm. I got a really weird sensation on my right arm right now, like someone's squeezing my forearm. Really? Yeah. Can you lift your sleeve up? I wonder if you have any like markings. Yeah, right I got that one. I don't know. And I feel ice cold, man. Like chills. Oh man. It feels like someone was gripping my forearm just now, like move. It's like every time we open that closet door now, it's like that's twice now. Something happened. Something's let us outside the room. Something yeah, let us outside. Yeah. Uh, A noise out here. Right. To get us out here with the door open again. Right. What? What the? F what could that even be? The screen. That's the only thing. I mean, like, what could that even be? Let me hear that up close. And it's right after I asked if you want the door open, say open door. Yep. <sighs> Oof. That's a naughty noise. Yeah, I got chills. Get the hell out. Get the yeah, hell out. Get the hell out. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Open it. Open it. Dude, it's, okay, you hear him say open it. Open it, and then you. Then I think it. you open the door. Right. And then it goes, open oh, it. Open it. That's clear as day, man. You hear the breath in that. Open it. Open it. That has a vocal tone, bro. And that right. scream. That Dude, scream, and then get the insane. hell out. That's insane. I, what I'm feeling is like maybe someone grabbed my hand, like, right. like get hurry, out. hurry up yeah. and let's get out of this room. Like, like and then we, we all, opened it up, you know what I mean? And then like, come on, let's go. It's like grab me on the forearm and just and like. That's the second time that we've had something try to get us out of that room, and then we get the hell out, like. Right, and then it says open it, and you hear the breath. Yeah, so there's no just, denying that that's not. No, that's a that's voice. What happens if we do it one more time? Like yeah, I was saying, he doesn't think this was a child child's room. If you think about it. We haven't caught a single thing that would point in the direction of a child. Right. You know what I mean? Sarah doesn't necessarily mean a little kid. He said it could have been somebody with dementia or somebody that has the mental capacity of a child. Who who grabbed my arm? Can you tell me your name? My bad. I kicked something up the That was a creaky sound too. That was a telephone. <laughs> We're gonna keep the door shut. Did you hear that? Mm hmm. That was behind you. We're gonna keep the box shut too. Whoa! What'd you hear? Dude, something in that closet just fucking moved. I swear. Was it that sound? No. It was in the fucking closet. That box or something, that doll or something in that fucking thing moved. So I said, put your fingers on her and try it. I thought I heard footsteps. Why did I just make another noise? Earlier that night, Steve kicked a toy telephone on accident. But now another child's toy in Sarah's room is lighting up and making sounds. Was this toy triggered by our motion and vibration? 
Or did the energy changing in the room trigger the object to suddenly turn on? Dude, I swear to God, I heard a noise in here. What? And I know for a fact that this recorder picked it up. Yeah, let's, let's, let's close it up, seal it up tight before we play yeah, it back. Every time we're trying to play it back, you know, something happens and makes us get out. Right. What the, hell? the DR60 captures a bizarre sound inside the devil's toy box, followed by a very disturbing message. Could this be the voice of one of the spirits that haunt this closet? Viewer discretion advised. I don't know. That sounds similar to the noise I heard in there, dude. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's the noise that I heard in there. No, no, get out, no, get the hell out. Maybe he already got out. Like we had, we've had open window long enough. Yeah, now. It's, it's out into the building. We already let him out.